I'm Rubina, I'm from the Genome Analysis Center in Norwich and I'm working on um, a new project called TGAC for Kids. So the TGAC for Kids Online is um, a resource for ages 4 to 11 and there's loads of activities on plants, animals and bugs. So whatever they're interested in, they would go into one area and choose the level of understanding. So, you know, four-year-olds would not be interested in something for 11-year-olds. So they would go choose their level of understanding and go through activities for them. So simple, simple activities such as word searches or spot the difference or coloring in into plants, animals for young kids. And then if you go up, you would go into specific activities. For example, what is sequencing? What are genes? How can genes, you know, what, what is DNA? So I'm here to talk to people about how I can make it more interactive. Uh, kids love being online. They want to be on websites. They want to be on their computers. They want to be on iPads. So this is why I'm here. And I'm hearing great, great ideas of how I can make it even more uh, web friendly. And kids are here. I can talk to them. I'm with a nine-year-old here as well. I've just created some badges, so when people go onto this TGAC for Kids resource, they can go through their activities and actually earn badges, and that's for everybody all around the world. So hopefully when kids start to use it, I can reach out to the schools and the teachers, and perhaps they can um, use it as part of their curriculum, so it would go even wider. So hi, we've got TGAC for Kids online, just to show you what it looks like. Here we've got Nara. Hi, I'm Nara, I'm nine years old, and um, I'm going to try it, TGAC for Kids. Let me click on these windows. I'm going to look at this as Nara. She stands for movement, respiration, sensitivity, nutrition, excre excretion, reproduction, and growth. So Nara, I heard from, um, from the rest of the TGAC team that you helped design this game. Yep. Tell I show her the characters you helped I me design. drew these leaves. <laughs> so what, what is this game teaching you? I think it teaches me that leaves and corn can be different shapes and sizes and colours. So they can tell us yeah. what kind of games they want and we created for them. Mm -hmm. That's great, so it's an interactive it's thing. It's interactive, well. free for all, teachers can use it, it's free resource.